Alright guys, um, just a quick one. We um, managed to swap the bits from the old engine onto the new engine. I didn't really do much recording because it's pretty boring, it's nothing really exciting, just going from there to there. Um, but I, got, I was going to quickly go through a little kind of a budget guide on how to put a ZTEC into a rear wheel drive car. I know there's a lot of confusing ways um, that people say different things work, different things don't work. I just say what a budget way that I've done it and how it worked for me. It might not be applicable in every application, but in the escort wise, it, it kind of worked for me. So um, yeah, go from there. So yeah, this is a, um, a two litre black top. I'm, I don't know if it's the same for a silver top, but um, so basically the start of on this one, we've got a homemade alternator mount and a pulley mount, um, which obviously you can buy, so obviously everyone's different if they don't have a welder and can't make the things and you obviously can't do it. Um, it spins the pulley the right way around, so that's the alternator. Um, oil filter, the CVH small one. And then mine's chassis mounted. Obviously you can buy the um, subframe mount. Sump wise, I've got a 1.8 CVH from a Sierra. All you need is the sump and the pickup pipe. Um, and I made mine because you have to cut a bit out there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and I, so I made mine slightly bigger just to keep um, three litres, I think it was, of oil. Or three and a half, I can't remember the top of my head. Um, and then if we go around the back, um, clutch wise, Everyone says about Pinto clutches and Pinto flywheels. I've got a 1.8 ZTEC flywheel, which is on a early Mondeo 1.8 clutch. And then it is a, the release bearing. It's a Luke uh, 5000, I think it's 5018410 part number. And straight, straight on, pedal's fine. Some people say you have to cut this and weld it straight on all these weird bearings, but so I'll put the part number in the description. Um, starter wise, it's just a standard Type 9 Sierra starter motor. Same as a standard Type 9 Sierra gearbox. Original mount. Um, mounting wise, I basically welded two big plates on, on, under the car. Drilled two big holes through it and two bolts so that holds each side. Um, the bell housing, it's a bit tight in the tunnel, so I had to widen it. I got the old scissor jack method and just widen the tunnel literally like a centimetre each tight each side. Um, and a water well, water rail wise, as you can see, it's a bit of a homemade job. Once again, you say you can buy them. I was probably around £200, I think. Obviously this one just comes out there and goes straight to a CVH thermostat housing. Um, exhaust wise, just a, I think it's an Ashley manifold or a Sportex or one of them. I think they're the same brand anyway. But um, yeah, so that's basically it. And it all works pretty well. It's a bit of a budget. It's not to everyone's cup of tea. But... It is what it is. If you want to spend thousands on the conversion, spend thousands. If you want to spend 500 quid, spend 500 quid. Um, so yeah. So yeah, so thanks for watching and have a good one. Hopefully we can get it in soon. Cheers.